Well, hey everyone. Here's a, another video from Eternal's Information Technology Group. Oh, grabbing my remote and pressing mute on my TV. Um, this is some of the stuff I've been up to recently. I have been making my own little workstation where I can do my own builds, repairs, whatever. And this is where all future videos most likely take place whenever I'm doing those kind of things. Um, thinking about installing them out somewhere around here so that you can see me work. Maybe something like this so you can get a straight up head sh uh, overhead view or depending on what it is. And considering I now have a four, this is like a Ebony 4K camera, um, I'd be able to zoom in real easily uh, during video editing for you all. <clears throat> As you can see, I've got most of my tools set up, my Q-tips for cleaning, which reminds me, doing rummy alcohol for cleaning. Uh, let's see. Just a few right here. Um, have my Saturn iron for repairs. Up here I got capacitors and all kinds of crap. I'm going to sort through all this when I get a chance. And, um, up here is my hidden toolbox. That's got most of my screw bits and stuff. But what I plan on doing with this is I'm going to mount this over here. Since I got plenty of space. And then I'm going to take all this back out and see, install a uh, piece of wood. And I'll go all the way across and basically create a desk. This way when I'm sitting down I can be comfortable while working. And then what I'm going to do after that is install several drawers uh, and maybe leave this side open and then put this on its side and use this in case I have to do fast offloads for repairs and stuff. Um, up here is my primary power strip for this area. Yeah, no tiny, itty bitty. Not the best. I'm going to replace it when I can. But, uh, this is the connector for that. My soldering gun does not have its own little toggle switch or whatever to turn it on and off. So I have it hooked to that. This is for the Nintendo Switch, which is way over here. Uh, this is for the TV. I also eventually plan on getting a wall mount installing it right here and uh this way i can put my tv up here and then just bring it down not my tv but my monitor whenever i need to hook up to do some work and see what the heck i'm doing um also i might install a little shelf up here for anything um yeah i know i actually just use this for decoration in here no comments please this was for charity, uh, two bucks, buy five of them, so a total of ten bucks. It was for um, cancer research, uh, and then the company would donate X amount of money to how many noses were sold and how many people actually wore them. Um, yeah, this was my original gaming computer case. This is what Celeste RX One used to be stored inside. Um, I'll give you the quick rundown on those specs. It was originally, it the, uh, still used the same motherboard, so Biostar TP55 originally ran an i3-530 with 4 gigs of RAM, um, a 500 watt Diablo Tech power supply, uh, which actually blew apart, pretty much, uh, back when, when we had a real bad storm. And then at that point, I upgraded to a Cooler Master 500 watt, which is now in Eternity NAS. Uh, Eternity NAS. I did not cuss people. Um, I also originally had a DVD burner, and I had two one terabyte hard drives. One Hitachi, and one Western Digital Green. Uh, and a stock cooler. And a, see what video card was it, a, uh, Asus 512 megabyte, uh, GeForce GTX 210, I think it was. I still have it, but I kind of lost the screws to the heatsink for it. So, let's see. If I find it, I'll show you a picture of it later. This is a funny story. This balloon, I got... When we first moved up here to Kentucky on my birthday, we didn't have much, and yet I was still pretty much a kid. My family still went out and got me stuff for my birthday, even though we had nothing. 
So, I held on to that and I finally mounted it. Also, it kind of does a nice reflection of light. Um, this is actually one of my light stands from my lighting kit for when I do my recordings out in the living room in the kitchen area. Uh, I plan on buying more of these. Uh, although probably something better design. Um, but yeah, this is now my new work area. It will be really nice once it's all said and done. Um, as you can see, I am trying to clean up my mess of a room. And see anything else. Just quick teasers. I'm currently building a... Wing Gunner Pro Zero XXXG 00W0. All the parts are still in there. I have speaker wall mounts, which I'll be using later. Uh, this is a different GeForce 210. That is, or was, my mom's computer. Uh, passively cooled, and it's one gigabyte. Uh, and they have VRAM. I'm half asleep. I've been up 23 hours now. Um, there's my drill. That was a Christmas gift. If you do not like The Legend of Zelda, you are blasphemers. Um, I normally will recommend Arctic for just about anything uh, when it comes to cooling. However, I originally bought this to try and use it in a TU case. Supposedly, the specs, it was in spec for a TU case. It didn't work out, and I wound up having to cut it out to get it out of my thing. Mainly because the screws stripped out way easily. Um, that is nothing against them. I just was using it for something it wasn't designed for, so that is entirely my fault. Uh, do I still have the... Let's see. Oh, this was the heat sink. Wait, come here you. This was the heat sink for it. Pure copper, not copper, pure aluminum. Oh. Anyways, uh, Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, plugged into my console right now, and, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video of my mini-tour for my new workshop area, and I just realized I'm speaking weirdly again, so, yeah, um, if y'all have anything you would like to see done, oh, So, I decided to build my own little Game Boy Advance original Advance, and it is modified. I did the modification myself. Backlit screen! Um, if you look closely, it's got a weird... Actually, will it even show up on here? Yep, I think it is. Uh, I didn't mod the case properly, however, it took me a bit to figure out where to solder the main power wire for the backlight. Um, and that's about it. So, I will always say this, if you like my video, press like. If you dislike it, press dislike. Just please kindly explain in the comment section why you dislike my video, what I can do better, what I could do worse. If you want to see me fall down and break a leg, please don't have me do that. I also now have a Twitter, I'm working on an Instagram. A Facebook, I do have a Facebook page and all that, all that will be linked in the description. Uh, I'm going to try and be active daily on posting what I'm up to. Uh, let's see, anything else? Please subscribe. The more subscribers I can get, the better off I'll be. Eventually, if I get enough subscribers, I can make money off YouTube, which will allow me to make more quality video yada yadas. Remember this channel is pretty much about older technology mainly because I'm pretty sure Saka 775 is considered old nowadays um and most of that is old tech and yeah so once again this is Eternals Information Technology Group and I am signing off oh and I'll show you my new video editing software later see ya